My name is Tony Cunningham. I came to CSUN in 2017 um, in Residential Bridge, and I'll be earning my Bachelor's of Arts in Recreation and Tourism Management. So a little bit about me. I was born into the foster care system. Um, my mother, unfortunately, fell victim to um, the crack epidemic back in the 90s and unfortunately couldn't um, withhold the responsibilities to take care of her children. So we were all placed in the foster care system. Um, and that's where I started my life out. I've been in a total of three placements um, throughout my 22 long, 22 years of life. So what made, motivated me to pursue higher education um, was number one was the guardian who I was staying with at the time. Um, I was placed with her when I was seven years old and I've been with her um, since I was emancipated out of the system. Um, but she was very big on education and making sure that we were doing good in school and that we were able to pursue higher education. Um, so she was the little voice inside my head that was like, make sure you, you know are doing good so you can go to college. Um, did I listen to that little voice inside my head? No, I didn't up, up until the last uh, little bit of time I had left in my high school career. And I was like, okay, it's time to get it together uh, so I can go to college program uh, was extremely vital in getting me to this point in this place where I am today. Um, they supported me, you know, I know I just said that, you know, you have to advocate for yourself and no one's going to hold your hand, but I did feel like, you know, they weren't necessarily holding my hand, but they were, you know, they were behind me, they were backing me, they were, you know, making sure that like if I fell, I fell into their arms um, and they picked me back up again. I knew it was a place where I could be comfortable, a place where I could be myself, uh, a place where I knew I was welcome. Um, oh my goodness, of course, all the free food. I, <laughs> I will never, 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 never not mention EOP and not mention all the free food. This to take off that extra stress of just like, you know, I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat tonight. No, I don't, because I know there's an EOP meeting tonight and I'm gonna eat there and I'm gonna be able to take some food home with me. <laughs> Um, I for sure like to thank all of my EOP, RSP family um, for all the love and support that I've gotten over the years and that I know I will continue to receive um, when my time here is done. Um, I'd like to thank, you know, my friends, my family who've been there um, supporting me through this journey. Um, and I'd like to say I dream it, I want it, and I grind till I own it.